What's poppin' partners? It's JB2 Raw back in motion with another video, man. You know, brothers in life, we tend to make precarious decisions that come back to bite us in a latter time. And a lot of these choices just so happen to be sometimes igniting relationships with certain people, the wrong people. And you know, a lot of the time, this makes us who we are today. It strengthens us in wisdom, experience, knowledge, discernment, so forth and so on. But that's not the point I'm getting to. We're speaking about the harmful effects of those type of relationships. So today, I ask you brothers, are you dealing with an excessive thrill seeker? In this video, I'm going to tell you how this is one of the most dangerous, mentally unsettled women that you could deal with and that you shouldn't deal with. But first, let's roll the clip. Dashboard video shows the moment an Uber driver was shot at while picking up a woman in Chicago. Go, go, go. You finna shoot up the car. Shoot up the car? Yeah, go. What the f***? What is go. that? Yeah, this video is now going viral on social media. This poor driver, uh, he says the woman contacted police while he pulled over not too far from the scene, but then more gunshots were fired. He says he felt unsafe and told her he couldn't wait for police any longer. They changed their destination and the woman was dropped off at a nearby relative's house. Still not clear what led to the shooting, but it happened in one of Chicago's most violent neighborhoods. So if you don't know what's going on in the clip or if you're driving and you can't watch the clip, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure a lot of us have seen this clip before, but it's a, a guy doing Uber. He's recording it. I don't know if it's a skit or not. It seemed very real to me, but he's recording his rides and things of that nature, of course, to protect himself. Um, and there's one woman gets in the car, you know what I'm saying? It, I think it happened in Chicago. so. More than likely, it's a guy she's dealing with or a baby father or something like that. She gets in the car and the guy starts pew-pewing at the Uber driver's car. Putting her life, and more importantly, that innocent bystander's life, the Uber driver, his life in jeopardy. And I speak that, you know, uh, more importantly, as him simply being an innocent, innocent bystander. I don't know him. I don't know what he gets into. But we know what that woman gets into. You dig what I'm saying? And we know the type of men that she likes. So therefore, she's putting her own life in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? By making those type of decisions to deal with those type of men. But now she's putting, even more importantly, a person that has nothing to do with that nothing to do with that she's putting his life in jeopardy that's the uh, perspective that i'm speaking from not like i'm just god almighty and i'm the judge of all and her life is less important than his i'm speaking from a perspective before i get into it of her getting him in that mess that he has nothing to do with so with that being said y'all seen what just took place i just explained it to you Raise your hand, and I'm going to raise mine. I'm going to be the first one to raise mine. Raise your hand if you think she's opened one of her holes for him consensually again. They got intimate and slept together again. Raise your hand. He just pew-pewed at her. Raise your hand if you think she slept with him again after that. Now, remember me saying this. Remember me asking you this or putting that out there. This goes to show the type of people that can hold any community back. No matter the race, you got the male and you got the female statistic, the male being the one doing the pew pewing and the female statistic being the one that deals with the one that's pew pewing at her. Overall, creating another statistic in a child or children, bringing more monsters into the world. Yeah, it's sad that she probably had a, a child with that dude. She probably had a child with him after he pew pewed at her. You dig what I'm saying? He probably is an, an ex of hers or something that's if surprisingly they don't still talk man at this point i think it's way past programming bro it's way past that these are grown ass women man these women are grown dog they make their own decisions and they know exactly what they're doing it's way past programming now brothers this is a mental illness women going you know what i'm saying dealing with stuff like that 
putting themselves in situations like that. That's a mental illness. That is an excessive thrill seeker. I'm going to get into it later on. It's a mental illness and it's patheticism, man. It's pathetic at this point. You know what makes it a mental illness, brothers? Now, listen, I'm from rough environments myself, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't turn up like that guy doing stuff like that or even wanting a woman that, you know, seeks a type of relationship like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what makes it a mental illness is because anything outside of a situation like that does not get her juices flowing. If you're not on the level of that guy in regards of lack of emotional control and lack of discipline and hopeless and don't know a goddamn thing, then she probably won't, that thing probably won't get wet for you. And a stupid guy makes a stupid woman feel smart. It's all about control when it comes to those women doing those things. Not just sexual, not just her feeling like, oh, this guy's a protector and blah, 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 blah. It's a difference between a protector and a crash out. Protectors have all those things that I just named. That guy of not having. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, fellas, that's what makes it a mental illness. But moving on. God forbid, most high forbid, she were to get hit with one of those uh, hot shells or whatever the case may be. And, you know, she passes away and everybody is looking at her as a victim. You know what I'm saying? When she chose to deal with that guy, that was her, her willing, her willful decision. It was deliberate. She knew exactly what she was doing. And yes... It's unfortunate. But we got to answer for the decisions that we make in life. Women are not excluded from that. When I say her juices won't get flowing for you, I'm speaking about those particular women. What are we talking about? An excessive thrill seeker. An excessive thrill seeker will go lengths to, put, to, to feel excitement. Even going as far as putting her life in jeopardy. Like that, that female did. You see, I'm a proponent to a certain extent of you are the company that you keep. So to my analysis, since she deliberately chose to deal with that type of guy, she would have had everything to do with what could have taken place, which is her taking those hot shells. And like I said, fellas, I come from these type of environments, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not glorifying it or anything, but usually when these things take place, a, situ a situation like what I'm speaking of, if that was to take place, in which they always take place in these type of environments, or any something to a lesser degree, but still very harmful, usually in those type of environments, they can do all those things toward each other and stuff like that, put each other's lives and freedom in jeopardy. And a short time later, they will be right back together in these particular environments. So what I'm saying is that by no means are these women that put themselves in these type of situations victims. And, you know, you everybody has men in their family, I would think, you know, what I'm saying dad. Grandpa, brother, cousins, uncles, whoever, nephews. When when a woman keeps going back to the same type of thing, bro, you lose our protection. Because it's like we're not about to keep making up for your stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Like, so whenever a woman does that, she's losing the protection from her family members. Because we like, man, she just going to go right back to them. Let whatever happen, happen. We don't want nothing to happen to her, but she, she just, she dumb like that. What, what can we do? Y'all done beat the guy up a million quadrillion times. You done checked him. You done did this. You done did that. Like she keep going back to him. Let, let life deal with her. Life, the only thing that's going to teach her, even if it comes at the cost of her life, God forbid, it, God forbid this on you guys, any of your family members, your female family members, my family members, everybody. I'm not speaking nothing negative on nobody, but I'm just, y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get where I'm going here. Because the more you go back 
to nonsense like that, the less of a victim you are. You get that? And by the way, brothers, it shouldn't take too many times before you give up. You dig what I'm saying? The scriptures say, and I'm paraphrasing, warn somebody two times. After that, let them be. I forgot the scripture. I'll come back to it in another video. But that was pertaining to, you know, when you're trying to warn somebody about the scriptures and the most high, the word of the most high. But that's in life, period. You don't give people too many warnings. You don't wait for her to go back to the guy ten times before you give up on her. You gave her too much grace. Way too much. And I'm not saying let her uh, use your intelligence against you. If a woman is hearing this, she might think, hey, okay, so I can go back to this, to this Negro twice. And they'll still... You know, defending me and stuff like that. She might try to use it to her advantage. That's what females do. They're natural users. It's their survival instincts. You dig what I'm saying? So don't be that guy either. Whose intelligence she tries to insult. All women are capable of it because all women are survivors. And I have a a breakdown on this. It's two type it's one type of woman, survivor. But it's two archetypes that they go by. You know what I'm saying? It's two pieces to that pie. She's either going to be a user or an actor, but she's going to try her best to survive. I got a video coming up on that. But anyway, brothers, on the other hand of things, if the Uber driver would have got hit with the hot shelves, then that blood would be on her hands just as well as it is on the trigger finger's hands. The guy that pulled the trigger's hands, period. Watch out for these women that are excessive thrill seekers. I'm not saying nobody should want to enjoy their life. You know what I'm saying? Create some exciting experiences. I'm not saying that. But it's a certain level that you can go to when it comes to those type of experiences. An excessive thrill seeker is a problem, man. A problem that you shouldn't deal with once you realize that, that that's what she is. When you meet these women and you finally discern that she's an excessive thrill seeker, you should exit stage left. If you don't exit stage left, I need you to take your five fingers, right? Along with the palm of your strongest hand and take it across your face to try to slap some sense into yourself, dummy. Because once you discern that that's what she is, that's who she is. It should be no way, shape, or form that she should be able to ever drag you in any mess that could be harmful to you or anybody else and watch out for these women brothers with a good head on their shoulders because these type of women find you boring it's not enough thrill with you you know what i'm saying yeah y'all go out y'all create experiences but that knack that she has in her spirit that demon she has on her it's just not enough thrill. She need her life to be in danger or something like that. She need to have a near-death experience or something. You know what I'm saying? She like that type of stuff. So anything less than that, outside of that, my bad. Anything, because those men are less than us, beneath us. You dig what I'm saying? Anything outside of that is boring. It's just not enough to her. To an excessive thrill seeker. So watch out for these brothers, all the brothers with a good head on their shoulders. If you're not willing to knock her head off her shoulders, then you're boring. I mean, brothers, at the end of the day, she should be telling you something that you should already know that she's beneath you. She should be telling you something that you already should know. You could tell a lot by the type of men that a woman deals with or has dealt with. A lot of women would blame it on their past and blah, 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 blah. No, that's still you. You ain't changed. I can count on one finger. I don't even need the whole finger. Because I don't know one that actually changed. And they didn't have any ill motives behind it. Or they weren't just playing the game until they got what they needed out of portraying something that they are not so-called changed a changed woman like i said earlier in the video a stupid guy can make a stupid woman feel smart 
Women have a superiority complex when it comes to relationships. They want to feel like the smarter one. They want to feel like they can, if they need to, they can get over on you whenever they want to. You dig what I'm saying? It's a superiority thing. The dumber the guy, the smarter she feels. The easier it is to control him. The easier it is for her to get what she wants out of the situation. So all women, all women, my bad, women like this. Women like this. They feel, they all feel smart to a dummy until they run into somebody that makes them feel dumb. Now it's, you think you know everything and you think you this and blah, 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 blah. No, you're just used to dealing with dummies. Or you always talking like an old man when you try to teach her something. She's little minded. She's a little minded little girl. Wisdom is for old people to a dummy. A young person ain't supposed to have wisdom to these dumb women out here. The dumb ones that we talking about in this video. That's for old men. So what this chick is basically saying, she doesn't learn from her decisions. That's what the whole point is of this video. She doesn't learn from her decisions. That, that's why she keeps going back over and over and reverting back to the same type of men that put her in those harmful situations. She doesn't learn from her decisions. Experience creates wisdom, right? Knowledge and discernment to a certain extent. She doesn't learn from her experiences. That's why she has no damn wisdom. And she doesn't take too kindly to wisdom being exuded unto her given to her because she's a dummy she's little-minded she's a little-minded little girl now it's a small percentage of women americanized women you did what i'm saying because this doesn't happen in functional societies man but in this western civilization man it's a small percentage of women compared to all women of certain communities all women period it's a small percentage of women that actually embrace your wisdom you know what i'm saying because it shows great signs of leadership and that you know what i'm saying you can put her on with things you can teach her things it's a small percentage out there that embraces it brothers this is not every woman but most don't you know what i'm saying when they run into a guy that's smarter than them wiser than them more intelligent you know what i'm saying most don't embrace it you feel me because in certain communities, that ego is hit. When she running across a guy like that and you look good to her, she's attracted to you. You're stable and things of that nature, man. You got a type of style. You got a good style and all that. But you're wiser than her. That's all. That's cool if you're, if you're not smarter than her. You dig what I'm saying? But since you are, her ego has took a big hit in which I'm a proponent. I stand firm by this. A woman's ego is bigger than the man's. By far. Because women get told more lies. Their egos get inflated more. With attention. They get way more attention. They get attention easier. You know what I'm saying? Even from when they're little girls. Or when they're big girls in high school. People just want to go up in them due to their programming on TV they they think they're pro, uh, princesses and this and that the you know the empress programming and the the um the victimhood the delusional victimhood their egos are far greater than the man's ego like i said it hits that ego and it gives her less control because she doesn't see herself getting over on you that means she has less control in the situation. Most women want control. Most Americanized women. They want some sort of strong control in the situation. You can be too smart for a woman, brothers. I'm telling you. And a lot of the times, these are excessive thrill seekers. And you got to understand, brothers, never let a woman influence you to do anything, man. Never let a woman rush you into anything. You know what I'm saying? Like if you the type of guy to, if you don't do clubs and stuff like that, don't let her lead you to that. Let her go off and get another guy. Push her away. You know what I'm saying? Before you let her lead you into a, an environment that you're, you're not so fond of. You dig me? Because soon as she, you never know, she could be being led by a demon, bro. Demons are real. Being led by a demon to your demise. 
And guess what? Now your freedom is gone. Your life is out of there. Because you let a woman lead you to an environment that you already explained to her that you don't mess with. An accessor thrill seeker would do this. And she doesn't even have to be an accessor thrill seeker to do this. She could just be an overt thrill seeker. You did what I'm saying? She could just be an overt thrill seeker. Doesn't have to be excessive. Never let a woman guide you into stuff like this, man. You're the leader. Be that. Stand on that. Stay that at all times. If she can't get with the program, she got to go find her another program to get with, period. So I leave you brothers with this. Every woman is capable of bringing some sort of drama into your life, at least trying to. But you are the one that opens the door to your life. Therefore, if anything takes place, you have just as much fault as that woman that brought that drama into your life because you opened the door to her. So for these particular women, make sure you keep that damn door locked. You dig me? It's better women out here, brothers. But it's JB2 Raw back in. I bad. I thought I was starting off the video. It's JB2 Raw. Make sure y'all keep the most high first. Stay up, stay strong, and stay out the way, man. I'm out.